Hello everyone, hope you're well. So this is a bit of a different setup. My room is so messy and this is probably the only corner of it that is relatively neat and tidy and also I really wanted to have some good natural light to show you guys um, my skin. Um, I know I'm wearing makeup but I want to try and get as close as possible to the camera and show you guys um, because I'm doing my Roaccutane update. I'm actually on day 20 but I'm going to call this um, day 19 because I haven't taken my pill for day 20 yet. So um, it's actually going quite quickly. I'm absolutely shocked as to how um, I'm already nearly at three weeks so it's absolutely crazy and I have my blood appointment to um, have my blood test on the 17th and then I'm going for my um, pregnancy test and check up with the nurse on the 25th so it's going crazy like how quickly month one is coming along um, I can't believe it and I also have a lot to update you guys on side effects wise and um, just sort of things that have been going on with me and um, I don't really know where to start I'm probably going to start off with the one that's probably been affecting me the most and it's probably the one that I knew would affect me most because it's something that I suffer with already and um, Maracutane is just really heightening that problem for me and that's dry scalp so um, I have suffered with dry scalp, um, just normal dry scalp as a condition um, as since I was like eight or nine I would say and um, it's just always been a problem for me but I have a shampoo that I use and it keeps it at bay um, I can't use any other normal shampoos um, at all they just really really aggravate my scalp so um, when I use that I'm fine but honestly you guys recently if I do not do an olive oil um, treatment on my hair for like at least three hours um, I have the worst flaky scalp in the world and um, it's really really bothering me I'm not gonna lie the only thing that makes it kind of bearable is the fact that I don't have to wash my hair as frequently and right now I always have baby hairs it really annoys me right now this is um, I washed my hair Friday morning time and um, yeah today is what's the day today today's Monday so this normally, like right now, I would have to wash my hair or I would have to have my hair up in a ponytail of some sort or like a bun. Like I could not be normally walking around with my hair, um, my hair like this. There is no way. Like right now my scalp looks pretty oil free for the most part and um, I'm definitely seeing my scalp being really dry. And um, the place that I get most dry is here, 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 here and then right here is kind of okay but literally the worst bits are right at my hairline which just makes it just super annoying probably the worst is by my ears right here so for those of you guys who have been on Aracutane and have had the same problem um, I am giving a plea out there to help um, because it has gotten really bad um, I bought a shower cap from Boots and um, Thursday night I just poured olive oil all over my hair like literally my hair was drenched um, in olive oil and um, I put the shower cap on and I slept the reason for the shower cap was mainly so it doesn't um, drench my pillow in oil and it really really did work as in it didn't drench my pillow but I still woke up in the morning with dryness right here so I don't really know what to do so anyone who can recommend me anything please let me know it's not a dryness where really I'm flaking like the, the dryness isn't dropping as much um, it's just literally sitting on my scalp so it's more like imagine kind of eczema or psoriasis something kind of like that that's kind of what it's looking like um, so that's probably gonna be the worst thing that I will be experiencing um, for sure. Something I'm self-conscious about anyway and this has just become about 10 times worse literally. Um, I'm not going to come close and show you guys because it's gross but yeah that's that's one thing. Second thing is which um, again has gotten really bad um, and it's something that I haven't ever had previously really is blackheads which I'm sorry to anyone who gets like grossed out in this video but um, I have gotten the worst blackheads around my nose ever and they are disgusting so like when I'm not wearing makeup they just look absolutely horrific and um, they just look horrible and I hate them and um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys I've tried to like extract them <laughs> which sounds disgusting but they're not coming out and um, I have a Clarisonic and I just keep forgetting to kind of recharge it and use it but um, yeah I've just got such such bad 
um, blackheads and I thought it was due to this because um, I've been using this to combat the dryness around my nose which I have. The only thing that has really been helping that is this and it's the Aven um, Skin Rich Skin Recovery Cream. And this is like a lifesaver of mine, it's amazing. And um, I pop this around my nose every single night before I go to bed. And if I don't do this, my makeup, like I can't put makeup on. I have extremely scaly nose. So this has been the only thing that's working. But it's since I've been using this that I've got the blackheads. And I think it's because it's got mineral oil and it's just not that great. But it's kind of like, do I want blackheads or do I want a dry scaly nose? And I think for now I'd rather have the blackheads. But... Yeah, if anyone knows what I can do about them, then let me know. I would not use pore strips just because I'm not allowed to wax. And it's kind of like, I know with pore strip you have to like rip. And I just, I do not want like half of my nose's skin coming off. So those are probably two of the worst things that I've experienced. Obviously another thing which is just not going to go away is dry lips. Um, my lips are super dry, they're not cracking at all because I'm drinking so much water and I'm just applying this all the time. Um, and it's the Aquaphor. And I've seen so many YouTube videos on Roaccutane, so I know that this is like so many people's lifesavers, and it truly is mine as well. It's just really, really good. It feels nice on my lips. I hate the colour of my natural lips, so this is what you're seeing right now. I just, like, I hate the colour of my natural lips, but um, it's just something I have to deal with, unfortunately. Um, but where I like this morning, I woke up and the whole of my top lip was peeling. Um, so I put some of this Aven on that I showed you guys. Sorry, it's so bright. So I put some of this on and already it's just, it's gotten so much. Yeah, before, if you're on Raccutane and you haven't tried this, check out eBay because um, this stuff is absolutely amazing and it's about £8. I'm probably going to get another one just to have in my bag because already I've used like this much. So that's crazy. I never go through lip balm ever. Um, so that's another thing that I've been experiencing. I'm really trying not to forget anything. Um, another thing, I fake tan, as some of you guys know, and my mum is constantly stressing to me, you're not allowed in the sun. I like begged her yesterday because I was at home, I was like, please can I just go sit in the sun, I'll put factor 50 on, and she was like, no, stay out of the sun. Um, we have a close GP family friend and he was just stressing to me as well, just like, stay out the sun. Um, so I couldn't do that. So I fake tan. And literally, you guys, if some of you guys who, f who know about fake tan, my fake tan normally looks good for about five days, sometimes even six, until it starts kind of getting patchy. Like, even if I forget to exfoliate, it just normally doesn't look bad at all. But I can only go about two days maximum without my tan getting yes. patchy. I was just looking at myself and my whole legs looked patchy. Um, I get really patchy, like, right in between my boobs. Um, my under my armpits... I had like a white patch, it just was ridiculous. So um, I'm exfoliating so much and applying cocoa butter but my tan just does not look like it did before and I'm using the same tan as well so unfortunately that's just something that really really sucks because I want to be tanned and it's so sunny and it's just just my luck basically but it's okay I'm going to try and figure stuff out and um, see if what I can do. If not I'm just going to be pale for the whole summer. Another thing I wanted to update you guys about spots. Um, I did mention, and lots of you guys were getting worried, like, if you don't really have any spots, why did they give you Roaccutane? It's not like I don't have any active breakouts, like, I I would have some, but I'm, I mean, my skin isn't completely... I mean, you can see me, I'm wearing makeup, but if I did have loads of severe spots, you would kind of see it through the makeup. Otherwise, when my skin would normally break out, touch wood has been completely um, free, which would be normally kind of, like, here, um, free of spots, really, for the most part, but where I have broken out is... On my chin right here so as you can see maybe you can I haven't concealed it that well because I wanted you guys to see but I've broken out in some spots on my chin which my chin never like not my chin sorry my jaw my jaw isn't somewhere I normally break out but then I was thinking you guys you're on contraception as well as being on Roaccutane and I know that I've been on contraception before where I've gotten really severe breakouts from it so this could be the contraceptive pill that I'm on and also that time of the month it could be something like that um, because I know that your jaw is such a hormonal place to break out but literally I've just been getting a few spots here and there they're not even cystic they're just kind of like sorry about this red bumps that have hurt like you know when you talk they they sort of hurt that's kind of what they've been they haven't been really like cystic acne um, but they have just been here and also slightly here 
So I would say that maybe it's hormonal or, or it's the um, contraceptive pill that I'm on along with the Roaccutane because that's something you have to do. But um, other than that, I think that's about it um, to report. Like I said, probably the worst thing has been my dry scalp. Um, but otherwise, I'm seeing results um, with my acne scarring. I've been moisturising a lot. If you guys, I might in the future do like a survival kit for Accutane just because obviously I'm on it and I'm testing things out. Um, and I've seen so many of them on YouTube. But on this side of my face, I had some really, really bad scarring um, at the back, more at the back of my um, of my face and it's cleared up so so much. My mum always wakes up and sort of inspects my face and it's something that I do. Every single morning when I wake up the first thing I do is look at my face to see um, if anything has changed but um, I'm probably going to start investing in some oils now that I think my skin isn't really breaking out I could maybe use some oils on my face to try and clear up the scars because before if I would put any kind of oil on my face it would just congest my skin. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I know that maybe this isn't as helpful as some of the videos where the girls aren't wearing makeup, but um, I will leave my skin vlog down below where I just tell you guys that I just, I can't do it. But um, yeah, I hope you're all doing really good and um, I wish you guys could see like the dryness and stuff, but it probably is not translating on camera that well. Um, I'll see you guys all soon, I really do love you guys so much and thank you for your support and understanding that even though this isn't a huge problem, like you guys probably don't see it, for me it's such a big thing when I'm not wearing makeup and stuff so yeah um, and thank you for coming along this journey with me, I love you guys and um, I will see you all very soon, bye!